Hello everyone, thank you for joining today's live event. In today's topic, I'll be showing you a fast and easy way to create a report on your Everest MentorFlex Video Pro. Now on this platform, as well as our XL Detect and the high-end Mentor Visual IQ, we have a device software called Menu Directed Inspection, or MDI. So this is an on-device software that guides the user through a predetermined inspection template, and it does a few things for them. Number one, it's gonna automatically tag the images that you save or your videos with a context sensitive tag. So it'll tell you where in the asset being inspected that image was captured. Number two, it gives the images a smart file name. So it's gonna tell you where in the asset that image was captured rather than just tagging it with an arbitrary date and timestamp. And number three, it's easy to create a report at the end. All you do is hit generate report and you have a Word document and a PDF right on your board scope saved. So it's a lot easier than going back to the office and compiling images into a Word document, as you might imagine. The other thing I'll say is we have customers all over the world using MDI, and it's not just an aerospace application. People use it on large frame gas turbines, and they'll use it on wind turbine gearboxes, uh, pharmaceutical high purity piping, look at it, orbital welds. It really is applicable anytime the user wants to save time by automatically tagging images or creating a report and it creates rich data tags. So if you upload this data to the cloud, you have some context to it when it gets to the cloud so you can search and filter for it. So I'll show you this demonstration on the edge in a minute, but first I wanted to start by talking about um, a way to back up your data to the cloud. So we have a cloud-based environment called InspectionWorks and InspectionWorks Insight. And we have a tool on the Borescope called Push to IW. This is an easy way to automatically back up your data to the cloud. And once it gets to the cloud environment, there's some more powerful tools. So you can share it with colleagues, you can create other reports, you can remeasure images. Um, so it's a really important tool. And when you're backing your data up to the cloud, it's also saving it locally. So let's jump right into it. So the first thing you wanna do um, is go into InspectionWorks Insight. Now this is a subscription-based software. I've already signed into my account. And if you go to inspectionworks.com, you can start a three month trial. You can get up to five licenses, I believe. So you can take this for a test drive before you get started and really see how it works for your inspection. So there's two easy steps to set this up. Number one, I wanna tell it what folder I want the data to push to the cloud. So I have to give it a path. So the first thing I'm gonna do is hit change folder and I'm just gonna navigate and I already have a folder called inspection work, so we'll call it that so I know which data is getting pushed to the cloud. So I hit done and I'm all set there. And then the second step is just toggle this on. So now it's on and any data that I save to that inspection work folder is automatically gonna get pushed to the cloud in real time. So I'm all set up with push to IW. So let's jump into MDI. So I have my four millimeter diameter probe inserted into this GE CT7 engine. Uh, used on a Sikorsky S-70 and S-92 aircraft or helicopter. Um, and so I'm in my compressor section in stage four. And so I'm gonna go to my MDI soft key. These are my various uh, inspection templates. So I have a number of them, including a CT-7. So I'll start that off. And the first thing it's gonna ask me to do is populate these inspection details. And so these are gonna appear on the first page of my report. They're fully customizable when you set up the inspection template on a program called MDI Builder on your PC. And so I'll start by typing in my engine serial number on the virtual keyboard here, uh, customer site. So we'll say uh, Waygate Technologies, uh, site or location. So we'll say Skinny Atlas, New York, where we design, build, and repair all of our video bore scopes. And then inspector, time since new and cycle since new. I'll leave those ones blank, but you get the idea. This is where you can set up all your inspection details. So I'll move to the next stage here. The next step, it's gonna ask me, where do you want your report to save on your device? So what I wanna do is tell this to save to my inspection works folder, right? Because then it's gonna push all that data to the cloud, including the report at the end. So I'll hit done. And so now it's saving to my push to IW folder. So I'm ready to start my inspection. It shows me the different uh, areas of the engine that I can inspect. This is the template that we built ahead of time. 
So I know that I'm in my compressor, so I'm gonna hit this and it's gonna start drilling down into my menu tree. So I'm in stage four, so hit this. I know I'm looking at my rotor blade and I'm looking at the leading edge. And so the first thing you'll see is I have my automatic tag on the top of the image. So any video or image I capture has that contact sensitive tag to it. So it says compressor, four, rotor blade, uh, leading edge. So let's go ahead and I think I want to capture an image of this first blade here. So I'll hit the save button. It gives me some options. I can skip through these and just save the image right away. Or I can save it with a flag if I find an indication and I want to make note of that. I can add a comment, so type something in with the virtual keyboard, or I have this details tab. So these are predetermined characterizations that are specific to the compressor section. Now, if I was in a different section, like the combustion section, I would have a different set of characterizations. So let's say this one looks typical. I'll just save it and move on to the next one. So that one, if you'll see at the top of the screen, there's a wheel turning. What that's indicating is that image I just saved is getting pushed to the cloud in real time. So that's already up in Inspection Works Insight, and my colleague could see it in real time if they sign in and log in there. So I have my trusty turning tool, AKA a socket wrench. So I'm just gonna go to the next blade here. And okay, it's a little touchy. All right, so now I'll go ahead and freeze the image. We'll save it. And this time, let's say I'll save it with a flag and I'll add a comment there. It brings up my virtual keyboard. I can type in a freeform comment. I actually have some recents already saved here. So I'll say, I see a crack there, hit done. It'll save that. Okay. And now let's do one more blade here. Unfreeze the image and we'll move to the next. Okay, so we'll save this image and we'll just save it straight away. Okay, so you get the idea. I can save a number of images in each section. Um, next, I'll move on to the combustion section. Okay, so I've moved on to the combustion section. I changed my optical tip from a side viewing tip to a four viewing tip. And so now what I wanna do is go on the borescope and tell it the unit that I've changed areas of the engine. So I'll go into list view and I can either hit up to navigate the tree or I can use the shortcut and hit these little breadcrumbs which are touchable features and I can go to combustion and I'll drill down and we'll just say we're looking at the uh, surface here. So hold my probe still here and just freeze the image and we'll save an image here. We'll save it as is. We'll capture another image here. Okay, so we'll save that one with a flag and hit save. Okay, so you get the idea. I could save hundreds of images and when I'm ready to go ahead and report, I go in and I'm just gonna hit the report button. So I'll go list, report. Now this page shows me a summary of how my report may look when I report it out. Right now I have it set up so that the report will show two images per page with the text on the right. And if I want, I can even go in here. This is a nice feature. You can actually go in and preview your report on the device before you generate the report. So you can make any changes to the layout before you finalize it. And so I hit preview and I go on my device and it's gonna bring up the PDF. And the first page you see here, this is just the standard cover page from Waygate Technologies. You can actually customize and load your own cover page from a Word document and, and build that in. So if I scroll down, and zoom in here, the first thing I see are my inspection details that I typed in at the start of the inspection. So it shows my engine serial number, my site, my name, all that good stuff. And then I have this inspection summary table, which is pretty neat because I didn't have to do anything. It just automatically creates it. It tells me how many images I captured in each stage of the engine. So I had three in the compressor, a couple in the combustion section, and it even calls out which ones have been flagged. 
So that gives you a nice 30,000 foot view of your inspection. The next part of the report shows which nodes or inspection points that were approved during the inspection. So one of the things that you can do on this is you can actually approve, approve an inspection point without capturing an image. So this is just telling you which ones have been approved and you didn't need to capture an image because there was no indication. So if I scroll down, I'll get to the meat of the report and here I see my images. So I have my image on the left, the detail on the right where I typed in comments. Underneath, I see my smart file name and you can see the layout is two images per page with text on the right. And then finally, I have what we call the end note and this is where you could sign off that inspection. Now you can also customize and add your own end note as well and I'll show you how to do that. So that's my preview function. Now, if I wanted to change anything, I can go into the settings menu and there's a number of things that I can change. I won't go through each detail, but there's a few things I wanna call out here. So the first thing is you can include, choose to include or not include a PDF in your report. I always include a PDF, so it's gonna have a Word document and a PDF. Here's your cover page. So if you wanted to select cover page, there's a number of saved cover pages I have here. I'm just gonna go with the default and the same with the EndNote. I could select the default EndNote or I can add my own. If I go down that table that showed which inspection points were already approved, you can choose to include that or take that out of the report if you don't wanna have that in there. Um, including images. So I can include all the images that I captured in the report or just those that I flagged. So if I capture 100 images, maybe I just wanna include 10 flagged images. And then finally, the report layout. So I can choose how many images per page and where I want the text to appear. So right now I have two images per page. Let's go with one image per page, one big image per page, because I don't have very many of them. Okay, so I modified my layout. I can go back and all I have to do is hit generate here. And just like that, it's creating my report and saving it locally. And it's also saving it up to the cloud to inspection works insight. And so that's how easy it is to really create a report using many directed inspection on the Everest Mentor Flex, as well as backing up your data to push to IW. Now, um, I think that's all I have to go through for the demonstration. One thing I'll say is we have a lot of customers already using many directed inspection. If you have any feedback on how you think we can improve the software, we're always open to doing that. We have a whole team of software engineers willing to add new features and improvements. Um, so please add those in the chat or you can reach out to me on LinkedIn and, and provide those comments. But uh, now I'll open it up for any questions you have. So if you have any questions, please enter those in the chat window. Thank you. Okay, folks. So if you look on the right side of your screen, there is a chat uh, window. So if you have any questions on the presentation, uh, go ahead and enter those in the comments and I'd be happy to, uh, to answer any questions you may have. We'll give it a minute or two to see if there's any questions and then we can uh, sign off if there's no comments. Quiet audience today, I don't see many questions. But if you do want to learn more about the Everest Mentor Flex Video Probe or the Mentor Visual IQ or any of our products, you can visit uh, wigate-tech.com to visit the product page. Um, looks like there is a question here. So the question is, can this software be used on our desktop? Um, so we do have a desktop version called MDI Builder, but that's just used to build the inspection template itself. So you can customize and build how you're guided through the, the asset that you're inspecting. However, you're not able to use MDI itself, so a guided inspection on your PC. So I guess if that was the question, uh, we're not able to use this on the PC. Good question though. Any other questions from the team? So Pavel has a question. Can we connect reports from two units into one report? Um, good question. Yeah, we can do that. So let's say there was a scenario where 
you have two different users inspecting the same engine. So maybe one person's in inspecting the front of an engine, the other person's inspecting the back, and you're both running the same MDI template. What you can do is you can combine both of those reports into one. So essentially you take one report from one bore scope, bring it to the other bore scope, load it. We have an MDI merge function. So you'd go into MDI, hit the merge uh, tile, and you can combine those two inspections and then you can either continue their inspection as one combined inspection or you can just create one combined report and upload that to the cloud so uh, it's a lot easier than going back to your pc and messing around with word documents and trying to combine them um, so this is a nice clean way to combine two two reports good question uh, we have a question when is the new update for mdi builder available Ah, good question. I think we're hoping for sometime uh, in Q1 of next year. So first quarter of next year, we hope to release a new and updated version of MDI Builder, uh, which will be a nice refresh to the program that allows users to create their MDI templates. Good questions. Any other questions you want to enter in the chat? Okay, last call for questions. Can we use it offline? There's a question, can we use it offline? Yes, so MDI actually is a device-based software. So MDI software lives on the borescope. So you don't have to be connected. You can use that offline whenever you'd like to. Yep, good question. Uh, there's a question on cost of the device. Yeah, the cost is gonna depend on what uh, configuration you'd like. So the Mentor Flex, you know, speaking generally in US dollars is gonna start around $28,000 US. And it can range based on what configuration, if you get real 3D measurement software, that would be an additional charge or InspectionWorks Insight is a subscription-based software that you pay annually. Good question. Give it another minute for any questions from the team. We've got some good ones so far. Okay, looks like we don't have any more questions, but I appreciate the participation. Thank you for joining our session and we'll wrap things up, but uh, have a good uh, rest of your day. Thank you. Bye-bye.